Good evening. We're hearing reports of gunshots at a high school football game tonight. And we wanted to get you right out to Alan Henry, who is live outside of Richfield High School. Alan, what have you been able to find out? Yeah, this is still a very active investigation and scene. You can see behind me here, this is just part of the heavy police presence that is surrounding Richfield High School right now. Tonight was their homecoming game against Bloomington Kennedy. They were expecting a big crowd and had measures in place for crowd control, but witnesses tell me despite that, the game was cut short by gunfire. Now, we have not been able to confirm any information with police at this time. As I said, this is still a very active investigation, but multiple witnesses tell us two groups of students got into an altercation, and that's when they heard two shots fired. As we were driving into Richfield, we saw an ambulance speeding away from the school, and when we got to the scene here, we saw a person laying on the ground being treated by EMS for what appeared to be some type of leg injury. Now, I spoke to one of those witnesses who described what happened next as chaos as players and fans were evacuated from the stadium and medical personnel started running toward the field. Take a listen. A lot of students from the um, left side and then all the people in the stadium started running to the left. Um, the audience started going, and then uh, then the, the crowd went towards the, the fence. Once they got outside, I guess the commotion happened, and two shots was fired. Bam, bam. And next thing you know, one dude's on the ground, the other one sitting over there holding his leg. So, um, yeah, it's kind of sad. You can't even go to a football game without getting shot. Now again, this is still a very active investigation and scene here tonight. We have not been able to confirm any information with police at this time. We are working to get those details for you. But as we get those details, we'll be sure to share them with you here on air and online as soon as we get them. For now, live in Richfield, Alan Henry, WCCO 4 News. All right, Alan, thank you. And we actually do have more. We just found this piece of video. This is from a live stream of the game. Now, you can hear what sounds like gunshots. And then you'll see the team take off on the sideline. They're the first see they start running. And then shortly after that, the fans started running like that eyewitness described. The announcer then got over the PA and told everyone to leave. And as you can see, there was a lot of panic as everyone was trying to get out of that stadium at Richfield High School. And we did some digging, as you heard Alan mention. Richfield had some extra safety precautions in place for tonight's homecoming game against Kennedy. They set up a home entrance and a visitor's entrance for fans to get into the stadium. And students needed a student ID to get in. Only Richfield students were allowed to sit on the home side. But in tonight's shooting, it sounded like the gunshots may have happened outside the stadium. And we'll have Alan there. We have other crews working on this scene in Richfield and in our newsroom as well. We'll, of course, bring you the very latest information as we learn more.